There's been loads of reviews that people have put up about a certain camera and everybody's buying them because of the global wide dynamic range and the quality and everything else. I finally uh, gave in and got one. It's the Runcam Mini Split, is it? Which is in there. I've designed this, uh, it's a pan and tilt. We're not going to find, hang on, found it. This is a GWS servo, and believe it or not, there's two types of servos of these, which I've already mentioned before. You've got the one from Taiwan, and you've got the one from China. The ones from China are the cheap and nasty ones, and the centering is crap. The Taiwanese ones are fantastic. Well, they're not, they're just better. So, this screws onto there like that and there you've got a simple pan and tilt so what I'm going to do I've got to take this apart again because I've got to show you <laughs> there's no other reason I just got to <laughs> I'll take it apart and I'll show you how to build it rather than take it apart any further because my hands are big and this is bloody fiddly because they're so small um, where's my knife there it is. You see that piece there? That is actually the protector for the, the LCD or the camera ribbon. So what you do is you put that, you put, uh, what did I do? Right, I put two, two of the nylon uh, nuts, put, them, put the bolts through, put the two nylon nuts or four nylon nuts on there. Then you slide that piece on there and then you put the one board on with the ribbon obviously um, and then you use the brass nuts to hold it down and then you get this thing and you figure out which way to put it and then you put that on there making sure that the connector isn't is in the right place and then you pop the connector on like that and then I'll put um, which one's all they now dooby doo oh yeah the is it these oh bollocks hang on <laughs> okay so then you get this bit here which is the card eject preventer what's it thing and you put that over the top there this is quite fiddly to get on actually I remember when I first did it oh, second time lucky and then these nylon um, what they're called standoffs or what's it things I don't know and you screw those down, you do all four of those, tighten them down. So when you've tightened them down, you get the bottom piece, which is that piece there, obviously. And then you put that, this piece here you might have to drill out to suit. I made the holes small and I don't know why actually, I might increase the size of them. And so you get that in there very carefully and very precariously. And then I haven't got any more uh, screws. I've got to get some uh, some of these M2 standoffs. And you tighten those down. So screw. I've got a screw left over. You tighten them down until it's pulled up against the um, until this plastic's pulled up. Same on both sides, it doesn't need to be tight tight. So that's done. And then the camera itself, obviously that is the mounting. Uh, that bit there is the servo control piece. That bit there is the bit that goes under the in the in the in the frame. Like that. Now good thing about this is you can actually you can look up as well.
so that goes in there and then I've got well, I've got on the servo itself when you've got it all set up all you do is and I know that goes there and that goes all the way over there I mean you can put it whichever way you want obviously or wherever you want when that goes in there and all I do is put a, a, a dab of glue underneath um, I mean that it's not going to go anywhere I've tested this with that just placed in there and it's fine so a dab of glue on the sides and at the bottom you know it ain't going to go anywhere I don't know you're going to get it apart again because <laughs> the bolts are underneath it and then simply like that. Oh, that's where that comes from. It's that screw. Oh, these. These are just RC. These are just ball joints. I've still got to put a nut on there, which I haven't got. I can't find one. I have got them somewhere. I don't know where. I've got buckets of crap everywhere. So. That's all that is. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put that that way, but you'll never get your SD card out then. That's the only problem. So, that's all now fully working. So, I've just had major problems with this thing. I haven't used it for quite a while, and I thought I'll upgrade the firmware on my JR module. Uh, take it up to 153 because of the easy UHF nanos that I'm using in my other ones now which I haven't used before and I couldn't get this four channel light or whatever it is in here to bind with this it's just taking me about what, two hours three hours three hours of pissing about so this is the new pod this is the new um, pan and tilt that I've got on here which is mega light one battery, plug it in, which isn't, it's not set up perfectly yet. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I think, probably connect those. I'm going to make sure they stay like that rather than flapping around in the wind. that's down and also it goes up I mean it's not a not a massive amount but it means that you can look up it's probably I think it's about 25 degrees 30 degrees something like that maybe 40 so there you go lovely Because everybody was everybody was what? No. 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 